Hello everyone, and once again, uh, we're here at the 2015 U.S. Curling National Championships. My name is Joe Calabrese, alongside me is Ann Swisshelm and producer B.A. Brian Anderson. We have a feature matchup uh, for this final round robin draw between uh, Brandon Corbett and Paul Pustavar. Let's meet the teams. Hello, my name is Brandon Corbett. I'm the skip of Team Corbett. Um, my lead is Jared Wittish. My second is Paul Little. My vice is Derek Corbett, and our alternate is Mark Hartman. Hello, I'm Paul Pustavar from Team Pustavar. On our team includes lead, Dwayne Rutan, playing second, Sam Galley, third is Chris Bond. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, curling fans out there. Welcome to the final game of the round robin, uh, where the final placement playing for the championship will be determined or not. That's right. We have a uh, possible, uh, there's nine teams out of the ten still have a mathematical chance to get to the playoffs. Um, there's a possible six-way tie for four and five for the last playoff spot. Uh, let's go through the games yep. and we'll kind of explain what has to happen for that uh, crazy time of getting to happen. Uh, we have Craig Brown over uh, 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 over on Sheet A playing Corey Dropkin for the theoretical six-way four and five to happen. Craig Brown has to beat Dropkin. Over on Sheet B... Mark Holupsik and uh, uh, Heater McCormick are playing uh, for uh, the six-way time again. Holupsik needs to beat McCormick. Uh, over on Sheet C here, our feature sheet, uh, Corbett is playing Pustavar. Pustavar um, would have to win that game. Then over on Sheet D, Brady Clark yeah. is playing Ethan Myers. Brady Clark needs to win that game to get himself to four and five. And then over on sheet D, John Schuster is playing Dean Gemmel. And if John Schuster defeats Gemmel, that would drop Gemmel to four and five. So uh, all these games have some sort of uh, tiebreaker implications. We're going to try our best to kind of cover everything. There are three teams at four and four, and if any of them win, they would uh, guarantee themselves a minimum of a tiebreaker. Uh, those three teams are uh, Corbett, Gemmel, and Dropkin. So... Uh, we're going to keep an eye on all these games, but those are the teams that are that can win and get themselves to at least a tiebreaker. Yeah, it's a complicated scenario where every game on every sheet right has playoff implications. Yep, right here. Go, so go. we'll probably jump around as much as we can, uh, use our picture-in-picture -picture technology to kind of keep you updated. But we're going to try to focus on this feature game, at least for the start, see how things kind of go. So uh, as you can see, uh, Paul Pustovar has the hammer and the yellow stones. Uh, Corbett uh, draws in with both of his first two stones. Yeah, and Paul's just going to cautiously go for his uh, score right, of right. two here. Not going to play super All aggressive. Right. Going to remove at least one of those stones right. in the top there. Hurry. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Dwayne Rattan. Either got that started a little bit or got caught on the center line, which... Uh, has been a little jumpy this week. Mm -hmm. Rocks have been moving pretty quick once they get ha a little bit over it. Like it. Okay. So uh, Brandon had set up for peeling the uh, guard, but uh, front end talks him into discarding uh, shot stone. Actually, they're uh, they're playing a guard. Yeah, on that's it. Yeah, that's oh, what I said. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's all right. I don't know what I'm hearing in my. No, they had originally thought about playing the peel, and then they, they changed their mind. Come behind. Deep, right back here. Yep, right back About here. a five, Brandon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. About a five. Right off. Right off. Nope. About a five. Oh, boy. Right here. About a five. Yep. So, trying to bring this one now around. Yeah, a little bit of a late sweep call there. Yeah, they probably should have just been on that and created some separation. Um, but that would have buried. Yeah, it would have. With a little more weight. Yep. That rock would have fully buried on a rock in the top eight foot. Mm -hmm. Beautiful ice conditions here at Wings Stadium in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Yeah. Um, I was down on the ice level for uh, the draw shot challenge, and uh, there se certainly seemed to be a little more swing than there was the last Wait, couple hurt. days. Hurt. I don't know if it's just uh, the early hurt. morning ice or, or what. Hurry. Hurry. But this one is uh, kind of over curling, too. I don't think they intended to hit both of these stones, but no, I think they intended to hit one and roll to the side. Now this isn't a this is a tough setup actually for the team without the hammer. Uh, 
There's a corner guard. Now there's a rock behind the tee line. Yep. Um, even though they may be the opposition rocks, there's lots of uh, places to hide and rocks to use as your friend if you're uh, Skip Pustavar. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Alan, a little wide to start. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Hard. 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 There's the break. Hard. Hard roll. Hard roll. Hard roll. Hard roll. Hard, hard. Nice shot there uh, by Paul. Right back to the center line. Yeah, that's a great yeah, shot. Lots of great sweeping there by Jared Wittish and Derek Corbett. One of the things about Derek, Derek's a really high energy player, the third for Team Corbett. Uh, and he really keeps the team going. Uh, he's a fun player to watch out there. Hey. Hey. Never a lack of enthusiasm. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. He used to have a sweeping technique where his head would bob kind of like he was head banging. He's kind of <laughs> calmed that down. He also used to have longer hair. Yeah, he used to be a little bit famous for his hair. Um, now he's uh, a little bit famous for his southpaw delivery here. Yep. He's been making shots all week. Yeah, playing quite well. Yeah. Nicely done, holding that line. Yeah, that was nice control weight too. I, no need to overthrow that there. Um, it's great to use your sweepers. Yeah. That's what they're there for. <laughs> yeah, the Corbett's uh, kind of known in the Rochester area for their big weight and he can destroy a hack if you're not watching. <laughs> Yeah, I bet he is. But, you know, in a shot like that oh. on championship oh. ice. Uh, oh, yeah. Got to bring that weight down. Other way. Whoa. Other way all day. Good hey. touch there. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Hoping to hit. I think can roll in front of that one in the eight foot. Okay. The brothers sharing an exchange there from uh, hack to house. Now, yep, yep, yep. as the shooter, hard. if you change your skip's call, you better hard. make it. Yeah. You hard better really make it. Derek has a lot of input. Yeah, that's great. Nice, nice shot. shot. Chris Bond. Also a lefty. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. The lefty lefty matchup whoa, whoa. at third. Hurry, hurry! Double! Hurry! 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 Whoa! Hurry! Hurry! hurry. Plan B. It's the double. A very experienced call from Paul Pustavar. Um, the thousands, tens of thousands yeah. of rocks he's seen in his life uh, come in handy with that call. So kind of a defensive call here, Ian? Well, it's a little bit. Um, I, I think you'd have to go back to what the goal of the end was for your team. You uh, did not have hammer if you're Brandon Corbett. Uh, did you want to force Paul Pustavar to one and take the hammer coming back in two? I th kind of just depends. He could play the draw here. The hit's fine. Um, you got to keep the shooter, obviously. You really need to keep the shooter in this situation. 
This one is curling quite a bit. More importantly, you need to hit the object rock. Just and done. <laughs> Some good sweeping again there. Good call by uh, Derek. Made sure they got on it as soon as he knew there was trouble. Yeah, and now Paul is going to take his opportunity to bury a rock underneath the double corners. It'll be interesting where they place the broom here. Not a lot of rocks thrown in that direction. It's just interesting that it doesn't hurt. It doesn't <laughs> Paul the played the hit on Chris's last one, and now he's drawing when I think the hit is available to him if he wanted to yeah. kind of blank this one out. But Sneak it by. And now this gives Brandon a great chance for the force. Yep. Can roll pretty good ways here. Anywhere in the rings uh, to the left of that center line, probably be a pretty good shot. Yeah, he's got a lot of a lot of space to roll. <laughs> They'll work it out. You know what? That's great. That's great conversation out of a third just of making sure that they're both on the same page that they both uh everyone agrees to what's going to happen here what the weight is where the where the target is these guys have been playing together for quite some time uh by quite some time we mean forever <laughs> their entire <laughs> lives oh, <Yeah>. so, <laughs> so uh I think uh, they probably oh. assume a little bit it, oh. with each other. It's good that uh, uh, oh. Derek kind of clarified oh. there. Long right way to roll, but this looks like it may roll out. It's close. Oh, oh. I don't know. That one might be uh, too close to call. They may have to draw. Yeah, Paul's drawing. It's not easy rock to hit. So uh, Corbett uses all 12 foot and more hanging in the house. What number, Dave? You know, if I'm uh, Derek, I stop looking at it. They're going to draw. <laughs> it's in as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and I think uh, I just overheard one of the players say it's not an easy rock to hit anyway. So right, even if uh, that last hit and roll, the rolled shooter is off the rings back there in the back corner. Um, Paul may not have a look at that, a real clean look at the peel. So uh, sort of mission accomplished here for Corbett. Most of our drawn against two. All right, go, it's not heavy now. Just needs the eight foot. Nicely done. Paul Pusevar uh, gets a single in the first and uh, takes a one nothing lead going into the second. Thanks to the generosity of the curling community, this web streaming is being brought to you live. This time we want to extend a speci special message of thanks to Bill Peskoff of the Plainfield Curling Club and Russ Lemke from the Cape Cod Curling Club, who combined contributed more than half the funds needed to ensure you're able to watch these championships live. Thanks again, Bill and Russ. So uh, taking a quick look at the scoreboard, uh, Brown and Dropkin blank the first. Hlupsik Hlup uh, has a one nothing lead over McCormick. Clark and Myers uh, blank the first over on sheet D. And on sheet E, um, we have Schuster with a 2 nothing lead over uh, Dean Gemmel. So, uh, so far... 
time again uh, Ready. Is, uh, is in line. All right. Yeah, it's complicated, people. There's a lot. There's a lot happening here. Um, if anyone's anywhere close, get out of your pajamas and get down here to Wing Stadium That's in Kalamazoo, right. Michigan. It's a great venue. It's a fantastic event. And uh, this final draw, this 8 a.m. draw for the men, lots of... Lots of playoff implications. And I think there may be a lot of lost productivity if you're uh, watching at work. <laughs> a lot going on here. It's going to be tough to keep track of it all. Um, you need a little ADD to kind of watch everything that's happening here. And that's all thanks to TESN.US. So, uh... This side? Okay. That Who's lost productivity. Yeah, absolutely. I, nobody sue us. I mean, we're just, <laughs> we're just here uh, trying to help out. But, uh, you know, um, Kusvar puts his stone uh, in the uh, top forefoot. Really nice bisecting center Bro, line. Wait only. Yeah, it's in a perfect spot. Uh, no. He's got the lead. No yep. need to do anything crazy. Uh, don't push the issue. I'm gonna leave it up to uh, Corbett's and uh, Jared Wittish. Sit down, baby. Sit down. It's going to stop. Nicely done. <laughs> yeah, those sweepers uh, were uh, doing the please stop, please stop, <coughs> please stop inside their head there on that one. So the second rock by Dwayne Rutan is, Paul's going to be looking for this, I, I'm pretty sure, just a nice tight guard. Maybe he'd like to play in the rings. I didn't see where he Wait. pointed. I have a feeling this oh, one's oh, in oh. the rings. Yeah, looks a little, little hot. <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry. No line. All the way. All the way. Hurry, bring it in. Bring it in. Go, go, go. Hard. All right, Dwayne. Good weight. So Paul uh, really pushing his team on that one, trying to make something when they didn't have line. Dragged that rock into the rings. So, wow. Uh, Yep. Look, looking Hard. like they're going to play Hard. some sort Hard. of uh, hit Hard. and roll. Yeah, they're Hard. trying to work their way to their corner Hard. guard. Hard. Hard. Oh, this Hard. is Hard. over Hard. curling Hard. a lot. Hard. 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 Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, that's fine. Should have switched to the other hit and roll. Yeah, I thought about it. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Derek is intense. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> and he give, he give, he'll give you his opinion. You know, the one thing that I, you know, I say this a lot about, it's really clear how much Derek Let's loves go. this game. Oh, absolutely. His intensity is real clear. Yeah, no, if that one was. So... Paul's going to use that, that corner guard, which is just, I mean, that corner guard is just too tight. Yeah. Paul, Paul's going to hit and roll right to center or onto the rings. Um, hey! Hey! Whoa! 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 Get a roll now. Get a roll right to the center. Go, go, go! Went off it just a little. Yeah, just left that one just a little bit. It was yeah. a really well thrown shot by Sam Gailey. Oh, uh, Paul Little looking to uh, play a short hit and roll. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This one's okay. tracking quite a bit. Hmm. That's all right, yes, not. Uh, might not want to sweep that one. Just get it by. Yeah, not ideal. A um, couple late uh, sweeping mistakes by uh, Corbett in the last couple shots. It's early in the morning here. Yeah. We got to get everybody That's awake. Not. The whole team's got to be awake. So. So Pusavar looking like he's in a pretty good spot here. He's got uh, rock in the forefoot. Another one t just biting the 12. 
protecting that one whoa, in the four. Whoa, then. whoa! Don't want it in. Don't want it in. Whoa, whoa! Don't want it in. Yeah. Good line. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Nice shot. So tight center guard here. Uh, Corbett's just going to try to play a double peel of some sort. I think maybe he can knock uh, the second rock into the rings and remove the one in the four. I think the double's pretty thin. Just caught board. it a little, a little too much of that top stone for uh, the shot they were trying to play there. Gives Paul a chance to put that back. One of the things about Paul's communication to his sweepers is that he's real clear about uh, what he's looking for. Gives them lots of good direction the whole way down the ice. Now watch, he'll be quiet on this one. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> wait on it, guys. Got to wait on it. Whoa. Whoa. Just at the end, guys. Yeah, let it curl. Whoa, Got to finish it really hard. Yep. Now go. Hurry. Hurry now. Hurry, hurry. Hurry. Right to the center line. Go. Keep going. Keep going. These stones finish just so nicely here. Okay. Now Sam Gailey's got Gale. an interesting sweep technique. He gets super yeah. low. Tall guy. He's right over that stone. Yeah, and he's got pretty good brush yep. head speed, too. Yep. It's moving hard. pretty quickly. Hard. That's uh, hard. Real hard. Really hard. Really hard. Want to hit this a little high. Nice shot, Derek. That's a great shot. Just a little less and the yeah. got the triple. Yep. So it's a nice read on the angles by Brandon Corbett. Same weight. Pardon? Oh, okay. Got room yet? Off. Hard at the end, guys. I right, better hurry now. Hard. Hurry. All the way. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All the way. In, in, in. Jesus. So just a little disappointed with the line on that one. Uh, weight looked really good. Control. Little wobble by uh, Close, yeah, hard, Derek hard, there. Hard. Might have got this started out whoa, of his hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I think he he just lost his balance a little bit there coming out of the hack. Oh. and uh, right. you know, a little disappointed in that. Yeah, just uh, set that stone offline right from the beginning. Those first moments right out of the hack are so critical. Keeping control of your rock, keeping control of your balance uh, makes everything else easier. So um, it's the base of everything else you do. Yep. So quick spin around the scoreboards. Craig Brown 2 nothing over uh, Dropkin. Klubsik 1 nothing over uh, McCormick. Blank end still in the after the first. Brady Clark uh, throwing his first skip stones in the second now. And Schuster still with that 2 nothing lead over Gemmel. Clean it. Line's super tight. It's an over curl. Hey! Hi! Hey, go in! Hurry! Hurry! Hi. Hurry! Hi. Hurry! Hi. Hurry! Hi. Hurry! Hi. Hurry! Hi. Go! 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 Hi. Go
Little light out of hand, and uh, sweepers try to make something of it, try to get a bounce, doesn't bounce far enough, and now Corbett has a chance to get under these. Yeah, and, you know, after seeing a couple of rocks here, Brandon should know where to put the ice for himself to make this little hit and flop here. Um, I'd like to roll a foot. I actually don't want to roll any more than a foot, and if we roll half a foot, that's okay too. That's great specificity. Really communicating to your sweepers what you're looking for out of a shot. Uh, that gives you a lot of confidence to know exactly how much uh, you get to sweep the roll. Yep. Yes! Hard! Hard! Got this started too, I think. Hard ones come out hard! Every inch go hard! Hard ones come out hard! 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 All right. That rock looks like it's out of the rings. A little more broom, or yeah, or if I just get it back. So, oh, uh, yeah. okay. Paul has a chance to guard this stone. Yeah, and he's going to do that um, by putting it in the rings. Uh, just tucked a quarter underneath that stone. Um, Same way, it's okay, huh? Yeah. That's it, yeah. producer Brian Anderson. Oh, that happy. is it. Yeah, let's see how uh, how close Paul Pustavara and team come to putting a rock in that perfect spot. Whoa! Oh, oh! You gotta catch a clean. lot, girl. Whoa, whoa! Clean it, clean it. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Well, well, let it curl. Yeah, nose freeze. No yeah, no, we're not even close to that. Freeze it. No, we're already there. We're tapping it a lot. Stop it. Go. Firm weight. Got to get to the hole first. What's that? We want to get take our one, right? You think it's there for the blind? Yeah. Yes, I think it's there for the blind. Yeah. Firm weight, but better to nose better hit. Better to nose hit than to, yeah. All right, here we go. Firm weight, it's probably there for the blank, but better to know. Uh, care, it really can't, I don't know. Can we get a shot of the overhead? Okay, I don't do that, but maybe I should. Yeah. I just, it it's okay if we're a little over curling here. Yeah, so. Uh, Half an inch. Yeah, I hear you. Brandon's talking about the, the, the blank is possible. Uh, just have to hit a little of the outside of nose with lots of rotation. And the shooter should pop out, um, but the main thing is to get rid of the two yellows. Make sure you yep. score, and they don't. Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Yes! 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 Hard! 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 Roll the red! Roll the red! Come on! Nice shot. All right. Yeah, and uh, Corbett gets his one here in the second end, and uh, just tied this game with boost of our one to one going into the third. Are you a fan of curling? Do you want to know more about the sport of curling in the United States and receive regular updates about events and news from the curling world? Consider joining the USA Curling Fan Club. The fan club provides you with all the latest news releases as well as a subscription to the U.S. Curling News. Visit the website www.usacurl.org today to learn more. Looks like a measure over on uh, sheet D. Between Br Team Brady Clark and Team Ethan Myers, our U.S. Junior Men's National Champions. Getting ready to head to Estonia for the World Junior Championships. Had a chance to talk to Ethan about that. Seems very excited about that opportunity. Uh, yep. As he yep. should yep. be. Yep. 
Go, as go. he should be. Uh, yep. Yep, line two. Yep. He admitted, I think, that the team uh, wikipedia where Estonia was. <laughs> he found <laughs> out they were going. <laughs> All right. So just off center there, Pusvar is going to put up a corner guard of his own. So uh, Brady must have won the measure there because they're throwing first over on sheet D. Let's have to see if it was for one or two. Yep, keep it moving. A little tight. Okay. Yeah, we're looking at the uh, years curled here for Dwayne Rutan. That's uh, that's about. That's called experience. That's about, that's about <laughs> double the age of his front end, <laughs> or the other uh, his two teammates. <laughs> Maybe true. Yeah, it's good. Well, so Jared Whittish here is going to try and draw around Early. that rock, his Wait first rock. Yeah. Jared, we're still searching for a picture yep. for Jared. Heart. Yeah, he looks a little blue. Yeah, he's, you know, the blue man group is coming here next month. I, he may he may just stick around. Jared's got too much hair to be a member of the blue man group. <laughs> so, uh, Jared uh, makes one a little closer to the center line. Now, uh, Pusvar is just going to come around the centers. And uh, Dwayne Tons. Tons. Sweepers okay. really disinterested in this stone. <laughs> They'd love for it to kind of catch catch a slide path and grind to a halt, but a little early for that. Yeah, third end, ice is at full speed. Mm -hmm. Um Dwayne just overthrew that one a little bit. So, uh. So, uh, Paul Little, the senior member of this team. Yeah, and a, and a potentially perfect candidate for the Blue Man Group. Yeah. Six, seven, seven, seven. Final wait. He's going to try and put a draw. Top four. Really got to come down. Lots of room. Yeah. Seven, eight. Yeah, this looks. Spicy. It's a little toasty, yep. <laughs> Where do you want it? No, seven, seven, six, seven, seven eight. Set, let, let it die. He could want it seven, okay. but it wasn't going to be a seven. <laughs> yeah. Not, not even half covered there. Paul's just going to ignore it. He's got the hammer going to come around those center guards. Top four. No, I said zero, five, ten. Despawn confirming the split time. He wants Sam to throw there. For light. Hurry. Hurry for line. Wait only. Wait only. You got room. Need four foot though. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If this whoa, is taking a really nice path if it's got the right weight. Whoa, whoa. Go now, go now, go. Okay. Nice judge of the speed, right on the, right on the, uh, yeah, it may, T line. It may be a hair deeper than what they were looking for. Top four, full top four would have been uh, a, a real powerful position. This one, uh, it Did may it have uh, pushed four the five. team Corbett Room. to play the run back and open Room. things up for Paul. Hmm. Wait only. Four. No, lots of room. Five. Right off. Five. But with it fully on the T line, Close. the go. freeze go. was the uh, yep. clear the shot to call. Good. Yep, hard, lock her on. Hard! Hard! Right here. All the way here. Yep, 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 never stop. Good sweep. Nicely done. Good by Paul. Paul. It's a great shot by Paul Little. Little tap, uh, 
Pusvar still appears to be shot rock. But that scoring area is super, super tiny now. Paul looking to maybe unlock his stone back there. Back eight. Yeah, the that freeze was pretty good. Uh, Paul's going to have to unlock his own stone. Sit on top. Take the controlling position of the forefoot again. Whoa! Whoa. Gonna need a curl to get a piece. It's a pretty good looking shot right here. Yeah, that's coming in nicely. Alright. Leaves Corbett still shot stone. Maybe he would like to bump it a little more. This is pretty good. Yeah. Why don't we just guard? Yeah, I don't mind that. Can they get shot off the yellow? Yeah. Yeah, he can right now. It's a hard shot though. Can we tap our red? No, I don't want to touch anything up there. No, no, no. No, no, no. The one on the forefoot. Yeah, he can right now. No, can we? Oh, that's really good. Yeah. But if I guard... Mine's okay, though. All right. Would you guess these two guys are brothers? Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a little... Did we get to, get to half a stone and then tap it a few inches? But I'm gonna throw it right to the rock, hopefully. Yeah, so that was that's that's it's really fun to listen to. Um <laughs> it's just really fun to listen to. I don't know that uh no, I agree with uh, calling a no, tap no. or a guard as no. the backup option. Um that's a that's ten so to that's ten a to yep, fifteen yep, feet hard. different weight. So hard. uh it's a hard boys, come on. Hard hard go hard. hard. Yeah, it kinda hard looks like they're gonna hard. Hit the I mean, yellow over, stone over, they roll thought roll was over, dangerous. Roll Try roll to roll yep, over. Yep. That's fine, Derek. <laughs> well, they sit first and third, but there are a lot of rocks behind the T line now, kind of helping Pustavar. Yeah, Paul's going to clear the front now. Paul sees that. Uh, yeah. He's going to play the run. Right. Yeah, I think the no. danger of not throwing a guard was that uh, this was going to get blown up and now they're going to be forced to kind of play single guards probably the rest of the, uh, okay, the end. Yeah, you're likely going to lose uh, the back yellow here on this shot, though. Yeah, this is probably, well, it depends where we hit it, I guess. It just depends, yeah. This is probably on the inside. Paul's trying to take that through the hole, like, I think. Yeah. I think he wants to hey. clean hey. the front, but hey. maybe leave hey. something on the hey. side in order to Hurry. run in if he needed to. Hurry. He's close. Or he's just going to make the triple <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> that is a great <laughs> shot. Sit too. I mean, uh, that's one way to do it. <laughs> that's a great shot. <laughs> now, leaves his own shooter out there. Uh, they can come hey. around and freeze nope. again. Kind of know this line. Yep. That's a really good shot there. Wait only room. Wait only room. I flushed it. Whoa. I flushed it. Yeah, Whoa, okay. if you can. Jared, wait. Yep. 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 Come on, it's perfect. Go. Whoa. Whoa. Jared, take it. Where? Jared, it's yours. Close. 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 Right here. Go. It's got to be right here. Take yep. Take three, boys. Hard. Right Whoa. here. Nice stretch of weight there. That's a great shot. Good communication. They they switch sweepers halfway through there. Yeah, so switching sweepers. Uh, one side or the other. If you sweep into the curl at the beginning, it holds rock straight. If you sweep with the curl as weight is coming off, you can make it curl more. Um, it's a great technique. It's a great little skill or weapon to have in your bag. Yep. Hurry all the yep. way. Hurry. Yep. Hurry. Hard. Hurry. Hard. Hurry. Hard. Hurry. Hard. Hurry. 
coming really close yeah. to that center Hurry. guard. Hurry. 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 Oh, great Hurry. sweeping effort there. Coming down. Sorry, guys. Tapping. Right, so. Yeah, it's uh, if they can't determine. That's pretty nice. It has to be right here. That's okay too, right? Yeah. Oh. There's no yeah. way we can determine. <laughs> May I look like red on your off. screen, we'll but but uh, that could be the angle of the camera. Careful, you have to wait for it here a little bit. Right there. Lighter fiber. <laughs> yeah. We'll bring it in if we have to. Well, if we can, I mean. Light is fine. They're one right now, but they're one. I think what they're talking about is uh, so we want to trying to. A good quarter of the rock. We yeah. can't freeze any steeper than that. Yep, that's where that rock goes. Just finishing oh. so hard. That works. Takes away the run back a bit. Yeah. Yeah, even if I hit the top in front, then we're gonna have two at least. Put pressure on him. Yeah. Give a chance, yeah. Score update over on sheet E. We only have to move it an inch or so. Okay, we'll took three in the three second. Out. Right. Blank the third, so Schuster has hammer in the fourth. Gemmel wins, and uh, he assures himself at least a tie break. Just draw weight. Yep, Just playing for his life over there, and looks like doing it well. I don't think there's been many threes taken on Team Schuster this week. No, they've been in almost total control this week. 85? Somebody's... Uh, mentioned it and it looks true on the notes that we have from curling zone that they've had the hammer in every game they've played so far uh, in the first end so well, it's great management of this new Let's last wait. stone draw yep. whoa, process whoa, whoa, with whoa. two players whoa, each whoa. throwing Let's a different turn hurry, 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 big hurry. shot here by paul Looking for a little tap. It's curling pretty hard. This line seems like it's just taking off on folks. Just sneaks it by. And yellow is definitely shot right now. That's an outstanding sweep by those guys. And those angles have changed a little bit. Uh, I think Corbett could be in some pretty big trouble here. They can get this. This is a big shot for them. Right? Yeah. Oh, I don't think we want to hit that, though. If we hit that wrong. Yeah. Yeah, and this one goes on to the seven. That wouldn't go too well. They, they're they going to hit that. That's their easiest shot, right? I almost wonder if we have to get another one in here. How's that going to help? They'll still Cuts them to two. Well. No, because they'll run this way into it. Well, I mean, you can leave him this, right? That's fairly difficult, because he's got to not flip that one. What's that? What about this? What if we make it? Well, they're still going to do this. We have to guard this. This is their shot. We have to guard it and give them the double. That's all there is. I mean, that's what I was thinking, too. It's like back in here somewhere, right? No, because they'll just tap this for two. Yeah, but that's fine. No, no, it's not. I, I really think that if we guard, that's a very hard shot. But it's for five. 
Yeah. Well, it's right here. Reward. I mean, we're, we're giving them two this way, Paul. No, we're going right here. All right, if you like it. I love it. <laughs> no, that's great. That He doesn't just like it, he loves it. And that was... Uh, the guard's okay here, Derek. <laughs> Either the freeze or the so guard. Right <laughs> yeah, <laughs> again, that's a 10-foot difference. That's real hard to um, to put the right ice down for that. But yeah, uh, the guard still gives him that shot for five, so I think you got to commit to this. Yeah, he definitely needs to get another rock in there because that uh, in-off that we're talking about is for a big Fairmore score of five 12. points. Yeah. So coming at it from this intern... Yeah, and he's out on a new path, um, the edge of the 12 foot. I've seen a lot of curl here. I, I don't, this angle with that guard out there, I might try the out turn here. All right, go then, right here, Brent, guys, side of the button. Line's great, whoa, yep, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was sort of going for uh, side four here. This might be heavy. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, the shot for the bundle is still there. Yeah, it's still only going to get two, though. Yeah, just well, play. We can move this. Can we get that out of the fourth foot? Yeah. Well, it's going into here. This one might stop there. But. So we're, gonna, we're trying to score with this rock, this rock, and the shooter if we're going to get three. So we have to, like, if we hit but this might go out of here. We can rest it there. Yeah, the shooter's going out. This might stick. And you still have to get this one back here. See, yeah, this one's going to come. Right. Yeah, just the tap again. Okay. Yeah. So they're not even really considering the shot for five, but they're just going to try to do is tap for two. Yeah, I mean, so... I felt they threw like an 80 last for, uh For five. Was it 85 or what? So the yeah. shot uh, so it's a slower there for five... You had to sweep so the shot back. for five would be this double here. But oh, that is also... About the same weight then. The only chance to give red one. You did see this double, right? You what? saw that double, right? Because that's for five. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, Paul didn't see it. You saw this shot. If it's for five, let me go take a look. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you saw this. Yeah, I know. If we hit it right, it's going right through the hole. And that's for five. Yeah, but we can't get to that one. You don't think so? No. It's going to hit either this one first or this one. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that's fine. It's worth and the second And if I hit look. this one, you could knock it too. Yeah, pretty unlikely, but okay. Yeah. As long as we get two, I'm happy. Yeah, see, this is good. That was smart. That was a great, great exchange. Um, Paul, Paul's goal for the end was two. It's still there. The There's only way... To get in between. The only way he can hurt himself is uh, by by making a go of that uh, double takeout. This Two. is where, uh, you know, um, I find Chris and Paul's relationship kind of interesting. Uh, you know, uh, Chris, a young curler, uh, Paul with tons of experience, um, but Chris felt comfortable enough to, to suggest Probably that. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa. Wow. whoa, let it curl. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. This looks kind of heavy, too. He needs to touch that top oh, one. Oh. He should be able to get it. It's pretty good. Yeah, this is the pro side shot here. Oh, oh. just one. I believe yellow gets one. Yes. Yeah, we should have hit that thinner. Huh? We just got one there. So wow. a little mistake there by Pustovar. Didn't curl up quite enough and, and wrecks their own into their own. And they just take a two-to-one lead after three. If uh, you want to reach Anne 
here in the booth, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is uh, hashtag 2015 Nats on Twitter or uh, post on our Facebook page at 12th End Sports Network, and uh, you can get your tweet on the webcast just like this. Dave Jamrose, part of the ice-making crew having breakfast and watching TESN. <laughs> yep, Dave Jamros, one of my favorite Blackhawks fans. From the Windy City Curling Club in Chicago. It's good to see uh, Chicago with the curling club. Yes, it is. It's great. It's great to see all these new clubs coming yeah. up all over the place. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of, it's a good, it's a good time for curling. It's a good time here in the United States. So, uh... With a 2-1 lead. Rutan here. Gonna all the way. Just guard. Looking for well, uh, it up. All the way. in the house. But I think Two. it's just going to be a center, uh, yep. middle guard there. All right, whoa, whoa. Yeah, just a hair light. Yeah, there wasn't anything you could do with that. I mean, that, that was just heavy. You know. I was thinking if we had just hit really, really, really thin, we might have just kissed it onto the bottom. Just talking over uh, Paul's last shot there. But you're right. You talked about that relationship. That is, uh, that's actually a r that just a nice exchange between an experienced skip and a, and a player looking that's to great. up their game. Yeah, Chris um, really seems to soak up the information. Close. Down, maybe. Yep. Yeah, Whatever and a nice, mean, honest share of information. Good. Paul saying he was too heavy. Chris thinking maybe he could have done something different, yep. Yep. better, sharper. Hard for a sec. Yep, hard. So, uh... Quick scoreboard update around. It's 2 1 Brown over Dropkin. Brown has the hammer in the fourth. Shot. Shot, Jack. Lupsick has a 2 1 lead over McCormick. Uh, Clark and Myers are tied at one. And uh, Gemmel has still has that 3 2 lead. Looks like they finished the uh, fourth end. Line's good. Play the weight. There. Well, we got room. Yeah, but uh, we got room. And Schuster's throwing first, so we must have scored at least one still, in the still. fourth. Let it curl. All right, hurry now. Hurry now. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Oh, that's a nice shot by Dwayne. So we'll look at the team statistics after three ends so far. Same thing. Pretty much what you'd expect. Close, tight game. Yeah, I'd like to see him making a little more shots than uh, than those numbers are telling us. This yeah. is the last game of the round robin. Um, they should be uh, Close. Wait, a little, a little light, more familiar with the ice. So, yeah, both Derek and Paul two struggling three, a bit in the fourth four. position. It's be a four. I'm yeah, sorry, Brandon, not yep. Derek. I yep. do that all the time. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hard. Hard on the ring. Hard, 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 hard. hard. So looking for a freeze down to uh, Paul Stone in the top eight foot. Whoever comes up a little light. Pack weight. Yeah, that's that's kind of disastrous position. Um, you know, Brandon is is playing under with the hammer under the center guard with the hammer, and I'm not a big fan of that, especially on these home ends. The even ends. Hey! 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 Hurry! Hurry hard! Over on sheet two has a little bit of a game update. Uh, playing the fourth end, Heath McCormick is sitting three with the hammer. Uh, and uh, Skip throwing last rocks for Team Halepsik. Bar. Josh Bar. Josh Bar. Yep. And uh, has uh, one stone left here. Normal. He has a chance to hit a stone on the forefoot, kind of uh, roll underneath a few rocks uh, in the side eight foot. Maybe he can get out of this with this giving up a two. 
Close. Yep. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yep. Hard. Let's see that McCormick game on your right hand side of your screen. Yeah, just looking to hit and roll underneath that corner. Normal. Looks close. It looks close. Uh, Rolls just a bit too far. Just a hair too far. Heath McCormick with the draw to the f essentially the paint for three. Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I don't mind this either. That's pretty good. Let's play this. Okay. So Brandon deciding uh, how best to utilize uh, a pretty good situation, yeah, a pretty good setup he's got now um, in this home end. He's going to go underneath sure. that halfway corner guard. Last rocks away for Heath McCormick. Close. Where? Good. Yep. Go. Ryan Brunt and Joe Where? Polo sweeping it Four. out of hand Five, the six. whole way down the sheet. Five, six. Wait Just Wait need to get it into the paint for the most part. Just a little better yep. than full That's 12. Go. Yep. Heart. Great sweep by those guys. Great sweep. So on the feature game here, Corbett now sits two with the hammer. Yep, Paul Pustavar looking to play a little bit of defense here. Just Bond uh, hits and rolls out. Right here. No, uh, Corbett's looking to draw under that other corner guard. Wait a minute. Louder here. Oh, I like Brandon's first idea. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yep, whatever you need. Get it there, come on. Got some room. Wait only. Wait only. Lots of room. Tons of room. Gotta go. Gotta go. Yep, gotta go. Even. Yep. Gotta be even. What? Gotta go. All right. Doesn't okay, look like this here. is getting around right that here. guard. Right here. Right here. Yeah, this, this took a really, a really straight line. Yep, yep, yep. Good. So is plan B, they just evened it up. It's in a really, it's in a good position. Um, Run the same way or this way? This does give a chance for uh, Chris Let's to play uh, a hit and roll. <laughs> Our fearless leader uh, with a whoa, shout out whoa, to uh, Ann here whoa, in the yeah. booth. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I may or may not whoa, have brought donuts whoa, for everybody whoa, in the whoa, building. Whoa, hard roll, Dwayne. <laughs> hurry, Dwayne, hurry, hard. hard. Right go, go for a roll to get under that. Didn't quite get there, but it rolled the group's uh, rocks closer together. Not bad for Pustavar. Yeah, that was uh, that was his goal, just to pull the play over to uh, the shot stone. Um. So, uh, Derek looking to uh, hit and roll. Looking hard for this roll, and it looks like it's going to get right to nose. Okay. Could be opportunity lost there for Corbett. Uh, Kusvar yeah. has this yeah. double 
pretty much hit it anywhere on either of those two stones. They're both going to go flying. Yeah, they should both go with no problem. Chris just checking out the jam in the back corner back there. Um, just to check the angle. Normal. Because uh, making the double, you're going to sit open for sure. So... Oh yeah, that's uh that's a dangerous little path, but it should go up above. Yes! Hurry! 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 Yeah, this uh good r half a rock to a rock uh too far over. Never had a chance. Oh, yeah. You can't ever risk going this way. But if we come here, then you get pretty easy double. Now you want to be short. What's the right? risk going this way, Brennan? You think you're going to hit it thin enough to whack that red? No, 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 no. no. Yeah. I think we're rolling. Okay? Yeah. I just don't want to give him a pocket back here to come around, right? It's oh. got to be a big roll. Control. This one moves a lot. Yeah. Nose isn't the end of the Nose world. Nose isn't the end of the world at all. It's a tough double. And again, they go through every every possible option. Uh, I think what they said was every uh, every available option was pretty much okay. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so make sure you hit the the object rock. Yeah, then we'll deal with the and rest of it after. Yeah, let let Paul deal with whatever remains. They didn't like the roll in as much because it made yeah. it double easy. Right. So they had to roll under the guard or uh, sort of roll away a little. Yeah. All the way under the guard. Yes! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Hard! Yes, yes, yes! Whoa! Yes! This looks pretty good. No roll, no roll, no roll. Yes, roll, yes, roll, yes, go! Yes, go! Yes, hard! <laughs> that's, a, that's a great shot. Oh, that's really nice. Good control of the weight, good sweeping all the way through. Both those rocks are nice one. half buried. <laughs> yep. No double. So Paul's conceding the deuce, essentially. Yeah. Really no other way to describe this. No word to really hide. Yeah. Chris does so many things. Like <laughs> just, He's really active in the house. And he, he's really aware of what needs to happen, so he cleans the path. Yeah, he's really purposeful in his choices. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. He is whoa. really aware whoa. of angles, lines. Whoa. Nothing, guys. Nothing, nothing. That's gonna this one rolls right out. And all the way out? And Brandon's going to have a free draw for two. Going to play the out turn. You go, Brandon. Zero. And remember, if Corbett wins this game, he assures himself at least a tiebreaker for a playoff spot. Nothing new under the sun, right? Nothing new under the sun, right? Just confirming with the front end. There's no... Uh, Touching rings. No change in ice speed. Right. Everything's the same. Sweepers are taking care of this rock. Right. Out of a half sweep. They've got the whole rings to use for their point. And nice end by the Corbett rink for a score two. So uh, Corbett uh, now leads three to two going into the uh, fifth end. Curling fans have responded to the return of the World Financial Group Continental Comp uh, to Las Vegas in such enormous numbers that the original room block of 1,230 rooms at the Orleans Hotel and Casino is sold out. To meet the demand, the Orleans has responded by coming up with an additional 100 rooms, which are now on sale. 
Very moderate price increase puts the cost of the Hit and Stay Five Night Package with Old Classic Ticket Package for one person at $800 U.S. Double accommodation, including two Old Classic Packages, is $1,038 U.S. You can find the link to book at usacurl.org. These are the last rooms available at the Orleans, which is adjacent to the competition arena. Organizers are making arrangements for additional rooms and packages to other nearby properties, and those details will be announced in the coming days. Exciting to go back to Las Vegas for that event. Uh, yeah, having uh, having had the opportunity to play in the last uh, Continental Cup that was there, um, uh, if you're a curling fan and you're a fan I've of having a good that. time, I could not I'm recommend that event more. Yeah, that, uh, audience participation uh, okay. encouraged. It was it was really just a great environment. It was a pretty unique environment for uh, for curling fans. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and I think it was fun for everybody, fans, players, it's officials, yeah. everybody. It's good to have an environment like that. You know, these events, you know, it's certainly uh, everybody's really respectful. They're, they they react to shots um, okay. when, when they're here, but it's a little like golf. And everybody, you know, it's kind of quiet until something great happens, and then, then they may explode. But, um, good. you know, the Vegas atmosphere, I think, brings out a different sort of uh, – enthusiasm yeah there was uh there was cheering pretty much non-stop for almost anything yeah <laughs> good shots <laughs> bad shots dancing uh, girls misses, holding up scores dances um you know a 360 degree slide yep got a pretty big reaction from the crowd uh there's lots of fun some of the game's best players uh, representing uh, their regions. So a uh, little different format this time around, though, right? It's uh, Canada versus the world, so to speak, right? Um, actually, um, they're going back to the format that it is North America. Oh, North next America year. versus the world. Okay. So uh, we'll have players from the U.S. participating again, which is great news. Yep. I my understanding was that uh, some of the non-European teams were going to be involved this year. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that may very well be. I don't yeah. know who the uh, world team will be. Yeah, I thought we were part of world. That's what I thought. I thought it was Canada versus the world, and we were part of the world. But okay. I, don't, I could be wrong. How's the wait? We'll find out. Got room. Whoa, whoa, we got room. Watch, bumping. Whoa. We're not going to worry about it right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're just about. happy. <laughs> we're just really happy that the U.S. Uh, U.S. players are back in the uh, in the mix. Yeah. So uh, Dwayne uh, Deep again. Yeah, just slipping, but you know, pretty far back. But that's a pretty tricky move by Paul Pustovar. Uh, it counts. It's double guarded. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe when things open up, that might be something that could count. Yeah, that rock's gonna um, gonna start looking a little bigger and bigger to Brandon Corbett as the end goes along. Yep. So, uh, quick scoreboard update: uh, one, Brown two. three one. One two. We play one in the good. fifth. Room. Wait, line only. Wait, good. One two. One two. McCormick four two playing in the fifth. One two three. We're really good. No. Come Clark and though. Myers they're playing the fifth, but. Uh, not sure what happened in the fourth. And it's tied over on sheet E, four to four. Gemmel with a single in the fifth. Schuster has the hammer. They're a bit ahead of the rest of the field here in terms of where their game stands. Yeah, and John's changed his lineup this morning. He's got his alternate, Trevor Host, playing. Uh, good to see Trevor in the game. Yeah, he has been um, a, a great young player to have around this event. His Whoa. excitement for being here Whoa. in support of hey. Team Schuster. Hey. That guy always has a smile hey. on his face. Yeah, it? has <laughs> been really obvious and uh, All right, that's still pretty, pretty nice. So. I'm sure he's thrilled to be out there on the ice yep. playing this game. It's a pretty good stone there for the Pusvar rank. Kind of moves everything off that center oh yeah. line. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like that's good. 
Yeah, we're thinking kind of about thinking. sort of. Normal. Brandon was thinking about ripping those corner yeah. guards up there, and his team <laughs> gently reminded him that uh, there was a yellow stone in the back of the ring yeah. still. And they don't have hammer. So, <laughs> so my statement about that rock looking bigger and bigger was actually really wrong. <laughs> yeah, he, he was just going to ignore it completely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. That's why you have a front end. This should be fine to sit too. Purple. So, uh, both Corbett Stones behind the T line. Which there is so there's still those corner guards he could draw around, uh, but I think I like this call. Little tap first. And I like this because if you tap it first and then. You know, they they hit and they roll away somehow. They roll out. Then you can come under the corners and get yeah. a little more room. Be a scoring rock. Seven. I don't know. That's just my way of looking at yeah, it. Yeah. No. I think <laughs> I think e either way. Um, this makes sure you keep things. Uh, I don't I'm think there's a little simpler. Yeah. More simple. Sorry. Yeah. All you all you grammar nerds out there. That's all right. I've used the word doubleable. To, uh, quite Doubleable a few times. is a real word. Is it when it comes to curling? Oh, all right. well, when it comes to curling. Yeah, that may not be, <laughs> not uh, be uh, an official. <laughs> that may not be an official it's word. Probably not in the Webster's dictionary. But in curling, that that yep. word is, is uh, makes perfect sense, Heart. Joe. Yep. Whoa. 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 Picks it over the top. Still sits two. Yeah, and this gives Chris uh, a chance to make that shot again, make it a little bit better. So I think they're looking for a 4 0 split time. 4.0. <laughs> I yeah. actually had uh, that problem one time in a game. <laughs> so he said, uh, throw a 4-0, throw a oh and then I threw a 3.4. This <laughs> is quite different. Yeah, that's, uh, that's probably about board weight yeah. <laughs> in that situation. Maybe even control. First and end, I didn't know any better. So, uh, sits for second shot. Overcurled just a bit on him. Kind of like a broom yeah, had a part. How do you just do this? I like this. One, two. What do you guys like? Corner freeze is what I, my first instinct is. Yeah, I, I agree it's with that. Okay. No, all right. I'm not sure I agree with the tapping as being okay, but um, I like the corner freeze. Okay, you might want to be a little lighter rather than a little heavy if you're covering that yeah. yellow stone. Oh, you got to hold this on the inside. You got to hold this. Might be time to let it, let this die. <laughs> yep. Hard line. Yep. Hard line. Oh, they, they got it. Okay, that's fine, Derek. I felt heavy. For curled maybe a hair. They had let that die above the house. Might have cut off a little more of this freeze. Yeah. No, just to it. Just a little bit more Shot if they can hold line. Hurry! Hurry! Roll it off! Keep going off! Jesus. Still going to be a pretty hard 
yeah, stone to remove yeah. without disturbing your own. This will hit this. It might hit this guy too, but it's definitely not hitting this. Right, it's got to go out though. We got to make sure that one goes. Four, uh, normal. Right there. So I'm going to play this with some weight right and kind of bounce it off of the other Pustavar stone. Okay. Yeah, and just redirect it out of the rings. Yeah. So this is the kind of shot you might not be able to play at your local curling club, but uh, <laughs> these rocks bounce. Yeah, you might not be able to play this one, but... Um, we don't really care about getting the second one out. We need to stick our shooter around somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say the most important thing here is to keep that shooter on the top of the forefoot, if at we all possible. Out the third of the rock. Yep. One thing I would say, you know, Corbett's sitting four and four, and the games I've been able to watch, the games that they've been in contention for, they've really managed their their rocks, their shooters pretty well. And the games they've struggled with. Yep. They hard. haven't. Yes! Hard boys, hard! Hard! Oh man, hard. this has got... Hard. It's fine. Got their own. Sits Shit. out on the open. And uh, Pusfer is looking pretty good to get two. If he makes a nice big roll here, three yeah. might be uh, in the equation. Yeah, that's a really valuable thing that Chris Bond just said. Make your opposition make a shot. Board, try to roll your way. So, Paul's looking to just roll a little bit away here, the other side of the rings. Stay first and second count. He talked about being able to hold this shooter along this uh, this side of the center line. Let's see if that holds true. Close. Hurry, hurry. Hit. Hard. Other way. Hard. Other way. Wow, we're close to the nose. All right. It's going to nose it. We're never going to get it. Yeah, so, yeah, it just curled more than Paul was anticipating. So, I like that they're talking about sides that curl a lot and sides that don't curl. Um, this ice curls a lot every s on every side, but um, it's good to know where you've got a little bit of straighter and a little bit more movement. That's a great look at what he, what Brandon's uh, seeing. Whoa! Yes! 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 Whoa! Whoa! Looks like he's got it. Great shot. It's a great shot. A little bit of a heartbeater on uh, on that one, um, as it seemed to be running straight for about three quarters of the way down the sheet before they could <laughs> sweep. But uh, well executed shot. Right. Straight drop. So Paul looking for a little bit better than half straight into the drop. forefoot for his uh, score one here in the 85. fifth end. Rocks away. 
lot, guys. Line's good. So Line's all, good. Just through the four. The all up to the sweepers good now. Line. Gotta go a little. Easy. Go. Clean it. Clean it. Go. Clean it. Yep. Cover the hole. That's a nice shot by Paul Pustavar. So we've got a tie game, 3-3 three to three on our feature sheet, headed into the fifth end break. And I will turn it over to Joe Calabrese, who's got our fifth end break guest, John Benton. So I'm here with John Benton, uh, Olympian and uh, coach of Team Christensen. Welcome, John. Thanks, Joe. It's been a good week. Uh, so, John, you, the fourth episode of Curling Night in America airs this Friday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, can you tell, give us kind of like a preview of what's been going on with this uh, this network broadcast? I know you've been a part of the production. Yeah, uh, I was fortunate to be to be asked to uh, do some announcing uh, along with Pete Fenson, and uh, it's been a, a unique experience to have a, a, a series on curling. Uh, on a major network and so um, I think it's been well received it sounds like the numbers have been good um, you know the, the games have been pretty exciting uh, we had a pretty decent crowd at, at the club there for for all the games um, and uh, this next week uh, tonight actually with um, uh, let's see it's going to be the US men against China um, really good game really good game some uh, some really good shot making uh, and we had uh, I think one of our bigger crowds for, for the game so it should be a good one to watch great so after you're done watching the webcast you can turn right over it's right around the right time 11 p.m. Um, how many more uh, episodes are there gonna be to air uh, so it was it was six weeks uh, so this is the fourth week so we got a couple couple weeks left to go um, got a, another good women's game and we'll finish up with the men and see who wins it all Great. So uh, this event was hosted at your club, the Four Seasons Curling Club, uh, which also became the National Training Center for USA Curling. Um, tell us a little bit more about that. Well, we were pretty lucky to uh, have the opportunity to do that. Um, being a, a year-round facility and, and the first one in, in the country, uh, we really needed a place for our athletes to be able to, to practice and train in, in the off-season. And, uh, it, you know, it just it kind of fell into place at the right time and, and we're really thankful to have that opportunity and um, you know from, from uh, the reports that you know we've heard back from the coaches and the athletes uh, and not just the high performance teams but um, you know we've hosted an, a number of uh, national camps there for juniors and adults um, I, th I think it's been very well received um, you know and I have to thank uh, my staff uh, there Todd Burr making the ice um, Regan Mizuno uh, Carrie Harms, uh, everybody at Fogarty Arena, their staff, uh, it, you know, working really hard. I mean, uh, uh, Todd especially has put in long hours to make sure that we have world-class ice there with uh, lots of curl and good speed, um, you know, access to a, a weight room as well uh, so the athletes can, uh, you know, get some workouts in, uh, plenty of meeting space. Uh, and of course, uh, the restaurant there has been really good as well. The, the, the food uh, reports have been good. Uh, you guys were there for the U.S. Open, so uh, I know you, I know you know about that. Um, but we're just we're really really pleased. Things have been going very well there. Uh, membership is is uh, doing very well. Our leagues are doing very well. We've got a lot of great volunteers. Um, so, you know, we're we're off to a really really good start for only being open for two years. Yeah, the the club's terrific, uh, and uh, having that that restaurant bar uh, right behind the sheets is is just amazing. It's it, provide some for some great viewing um of uh all the the leagues that happen there um it's, it's a great great place to to watch curling um let's shift our attention a little bit to uh team christensen and and the, and the junior worlds that are coming up um you're heading to estonia in a few days uh, for that world championship this is Corey's third trip as a, a skip and fourth overall how ready do you think this team is as it stands right now uh for this event well first of all um all five girls uh, and actually uh, you know starting with with six uh, at the beginning of the year was a real challenge um, and all six of them worked very hard from the very beginning all five of them have continued to work uh, extremely hard uh, it's been a little bit of a, a challenge mixing around lineups and and it's a, a culture change for the players as well um, so that's something that that's um, been uh, uh, you know 
really good to see them work through all, all of those challenges. Um, and, you know, obviously um, between uh, juniors and here, uh, they're 18 and two in their last 20 games. So they're playing very well, um, you know, and they're, and they're starting to really, really work as, as a team, make a lot of team shots. I know their sweeping numbers are pretty high for the week, which is something that I key on. Uh, they're also, you know, shooting about right around 90% for all of their open shots. So uh, that just means that they're making the other teams shoot. Um, so I think they're, in a great position to do uh, very well at the Worlds. Um, you know, we, ha we have a lot uh, to prepare for, um, you know, and there's always some unknowns when, when you head off to the Worlds, but that's, that's why having, you know, uh, some experience, uh, you know, with Corey going uh, as many times as she has, um, it'll be a, a comfortable place for her to be. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're really excited to get there get on the ice and uh, you know uh, I'm sure it'll be great conditions um, just like it is here so hopefully they they keep this role going um, right now I can tell you they're very focused on winning this event they want a gold medal from this event even though they're not heading to worlds um, I, know, I know that that's been a challenge for people to understand the point system and, and how it works but you know don't don't mistake that all four teams that are in the playoffs here want to win this event. Um, it's it's not a foregone conclusion just because uh, Eileen is is headed to Worlds. They all want to win really badly because they're athletes and they've prepared for this moment. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we talked a little about Corey's experience in the and and uh, Junior Worlds. Um, Ethan Myers is making his debut at this event. Um, maybe what advice would you give him, or, or maybe you know, what do you think he may have learned here that's going to help him in in Junior Worlds? Well, I just think getting the juniors on back-to-back -back events uh, with championship quality ice going into a world championships is huge. Um, and for Ethan and, and his guys uh, to continue to play high-level matches leading up to Worlds, uh, you know, regardless of the results here, they got to work out some kinks. Uh, they got to deal with some disaster planning. I mean, Ethan was obviously uh, sick for one of the games, so they had to, had to figure some of that out. Um, you know, it... It, it really just sets the tone. Um, they get to work on team systems. They get to talk about, you know, what it's going to be like, uh, you know, kind of being on an island. That's one thing that I know from going to world championships is that uh, we're very comfortable in our own country. You know, we know everybody. We, we're very familiar with the teams that we play. Uh, and uh, it creates a very comfortable atmosphere. Well, when, when you go to Worlds, uh, unless you know a bunch of people there, unless you've been there a lot, you're kind of on an island and you have to live with your own team for the entire week, and uh, that, that can be a challenge uh, in and of itself. So I, I really think that, you know, this has been a good experience for Ethan, um, and, and hopefully, you know, anything that you can do here uh, to, to add a little bit of uh, refinement to your game uh, is going to help you at the world level. Well, that's a real complete answer. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's talk a little bit. We, there's one other thing I really wanted to, to, to mention. You invited us out to the U.S. Open of curling uh, last month, and uh, it was a terrific event. A lot of Canadian teams had come down. Um, how do you think that that event is going to evolve? It, it had a real high purse for an event in the U.S. Uh, where do you see that going in the in the years that follow? Well, you know, I'd like to see it grow. I'd like I'd like to see you know um, a high level women's event paired with it. Um, I'd like to see you know an, an even larger purse and, and a more competitive field than we had. Uh, we may have some trouble with dates. Uh, this next year, it, it falls right on New Year's, uh, but it's likely right before our challenge round, so it's probably still a good window. Um, you know, the, the big thing is that um, there's only so many weekends in a year and, and so many weekends that teams can invest money in. Uh, so it, it's becoming a challenge with, uh, you know, the, the slams, uh, expanding to more events. Uh, seems like there's something every weekend now that, that the top level teams can play in. So we have to plan very carefully, but uh, my hope is to, to keep it growing. Uh, and, you know, I, quite frankly, I'd like to see more events in the States like that. Um, you know, somewhere, you know, um, you know, east, west, um, you know, I, I think uh, we've proven that if, if you get, get the numbers right and the timing right, uh, that those teams will those teams will come, and it, and it only benefits us uh, to have that kind of competition in our country. 
Absolutely. That's uh, well said. John Benton, uh, thanks so much for joining us here at the webcast. I see the uh, game is back underway. We're going to go back to the action with Ann. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe and John. So back to our feature sheet here. Tie game. We're playing Seconds Rocks. Paul Pustovar has one rock in the back 12. Looking to put one in the top eight. Brandon Corbett's going to just keep it simple. Play a little hit and roll towards that corner guard in the 12 foot. Control. Paul Little throwing. Whoa. 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 Okay. Just running a little straight here in the sixth end. There's been uh, several rollouts. I don't know if uh, <laughs> I see now. Okay. I if everyone's kind of up their weight by about half a second. That's what it looks like okay. to me. So. Zero's okay. Side four, guys. Line's fine. All you. Top four. Well then, for T, whoa. Side four. Side four. Whoa, whoa. easy, easy. This looks like it's going to go a little deeper than they wanted. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Nice shot by Chris. Normal. Control, normal, okay. Whoa, close, whoa! Whoa, whoa. Oh, nope, no roll, yeah, I'm not sure why Brandon's changed the weight from control to normal all of a sudden. They've been playing nice control weight the whole game. Um, and uh, they're getting a couple of rollouts here. Same weight. I know you're looking to roll f six, six feet, but... Uh, a little tighter. You need to keep the shooter oh, around. Put a little pressure on Team Pustavar here. T. Okay, hey, line's good now. Line's good. Not behind the T. Not oh, behind oh, the easy. T. Just side four. Are you trying to do that sweep the first third thing again? <laughs> like the freeze or the hit roll. Normal. A little less ice this time for the same shot, essentially. The trick is it starts on the other side. Close. Yep. Heart. Yep. Heart. Other side of the center. Hard. Hard. Hard, real hard. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, better. We'll switch here. Yeah, that was good. They kept the shooter, um, curled a little more than they anticipated. Control. You know, looking at those statistics, and Paul's really lucky to be in this game, only shooting 48%. It's the right 48. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you have to make the right half of your shots. Yeah, it's the right 48. Um, you know, you've you've had game. I've seen games where the skips played 90% and they missed the one shot they couldn't afford to miss. So um, Paul's Whoa. making the right one so far. Whoa. Whoa! Hurry! No! Hurry! No! Right to it. We're good. 
Leaves that in a pretty good spot. Not doubleable. <laughs> yeah, no, it is not doubleable. As we have confirmed, well, we is a like real that. word oh. in <laughs> our world. So, uh, quick scoreboard update. Uh, okay, McCormick steals two in the fifth and leads uh, Lupsick uh, six to two. Looks like they just finished the uh, sixth end, actually. We'll see what uh, goes up on the scoreboard. Like Lupsic uh, must have scored. Yeah, they had a chance. They were playing a little tap. They had a chance to take two. I don't. I didn't see if they made the tap. Craig Brown takes one in the sixth and uh, leads court dropped in four to two. Oh, no. Holding hammer in the key home ends in oh, the second yep, half yep. of the game there for Craig. Yep. Ethan Myers Arn. with a big four Arn. in the fifth. Arn. Arn. Arn That's a. Uh, Five to two lead over Brady Clark. Brady needing that game to get into a possible playoff uh, tiebreaker. Over on sheet E. Schuster steals one in the seventh, now leads Gemmel eight to four. They're in the eighth end. Gemmel's going to have to make a significant comeback here to win that one. So only uh, two of the five things that had to happen for time again are so far going right. Right, so far going oh. are going the way they need to ha oh. have happen. Oh. Possible there could be no tiebreakers. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. That rolls to a pretty good spot. I mean Corbett could try to make the double and roll out for a blank. That's a good point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Pick a shot, pick a turn, pick a weight, set the ice. <laughs> These guys have been doing a little of either or. Yeah, and uh, I think this is uh, Doubling these, I, I think, you know, brings a uh, potential steal into play. This makes sense. Get your one, move on. It's an even end. Running on him here in the spot. Just overthrown a hair, I think. Using that normal weight instead of the control weight on that one. Uh, took the curl right out of the ice. Steal a one for Paul Pustavar. Who's the best on Wall Street or in all of corporate Manhattan? When it comes to curling, we're going to find out at Chelsea Piers March 12th and send the winners home with a cool new trophy that will back up the bragging rights. USA Curling is planning on uh, to hold the first Manhattan Curling Club at uh, Chelsea Piers, New York, on Thursday, March 12th. This unique experience is limited to the 20 just 20 teams and includes coaching and instruction from Olympians Pete Fenson and Jessica Schultz, plus USA, USA Curling honorary team captain Vernon Davis, two-time Pro Bowl tight end for the San Francisco 49ers. At its core, this is a fundraiser to help support America's up-and-coming and elite curlers dedicated to putting USA Curling back on top of the podium. But it's also an exclusive opportunity for you to bring your business partners and colleagues out for an evening of camaraderie with just the right mix of competitiveness. Along with dinner and refreshments, every uh, a particip uh, participant will also receive their own customized curling, uh, curling broom. Get all the details at usacurl.org. Look for the link to Curling in NYC. I almost made it through that read, B.A. <laughs> Not quite. So uh, let's check the uh, Twitter feed. 
Remember, you can use the hashtag 2015Nats if you want to uh, get in on the webcast. Uh, as uh, Jenna Haig has done, pretty cool in the in the top four. Uh, it's good. It doesn't need it. It doesn't Jenna need it. plays for Team Christensen. Playing in the 3-4 game later tonight. Should there be no tiebreakers, uh, our next broadcast is at 8 p.m. Eastern. Depending on how many tiebreakers there are, uh, we could have a broadcast at noon, we could have a broadcast at 4. Could have a broadcast at both times. As it stands now, doesn't look like time again is going to happen, so. These webcasters might get a little rest. Full eight. Line's good. Full eight. So, uh, Dwayne Rutan, uh, his first rock uh, a little deep. The, uh, Corbett throws up a corner guard, which is a little wide. And Paul has asked Dwayne to put another one into the rings here. And this one stops uh, in the full eight foot, covering up shot stone pretty well. We were making the shot, so whatever. Pretty big swing there in that last end. Corbett. Uh, yep, hard, hard, hard. Rock runs a little straight, thrown a little too hard maybe, and uh, instead of getting one, gives up one. Now he's going to have to push a little harder probably for his deuce. Very nice, Jared. Nicely done by Jared. Removes both stones. Both teams probably wouldn't mind so much. Uh, blank end. So uh, probably be some trading hits back and forth. Little down. Yeah, and that uh, that rock out on the in front of the rings is not much of a guard of anything because of how much this ice is curling. Nice wave, Control. It's a good sign. We're back to control weight, Joe. Yep. Uh, and this kind of ice, uh, what I would consider to be normal, probably a little too heavy. Maintain your shooters. Control. Well, yep. We want to keep this in the house so that uh, Heart. Heart. Paul doesn't Heart. have a chance to Heart. kind of tuck one Heart. under later. A little, a little overzealous on the sweep call there. Yeah. Paul's gonna rip this. I think he's gonna rip this corner guard out. He's not gonna take any chance to let him get a deuce set up. You know, if I'm if I'm Corbett, I don't mind this so much. It's okay to have that happen. Let me get rid of this rock, and Corbett has a chance to get his two in the eighth end. I'm gonna throw the corner guard anyway. Might as well take your chance at two here and get any kind of miss. Yeah, you're still, you know, you're on seconds rocks. A nose hit, uh, hitting, uh, trying to peel a little bit, uh, and you hit a little thick. Yeah, Paul might hang around, give you some place to hide. Maybe a little deeper than they were hoping, but because now uh, Paul can hit and roll into the rings and sort of take away any more uh, any more chances for corner guards. Yeah, Paul's got the lead. He wants to play inside the rings for sure. Whoa! 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 Three. 
Nicely done there by Chris Bond. Yeah, well thrown. Nice weight. So, uh, looks like we're going to be trading hits for a little while. Back to normal hit weight here. Yep. Yep. Heart. Heart. Whoa. You're good. Heart. Wow. Heart. Whoa. 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 Oh, you're good. Chop. Right, right to nose. Normal. Normal. All right. Again. So we're going to try to roll it back okay. into the rings towards the middle. It's going to roll out most likely. Oh, no. Checks up at the end. Still yeah. biting. You can see how that one guard no, by uh, Paul drifting deep. Paul Little uh, drifting deep has sort of changed this end for uh, the Corbett's. They've had to waste a few hitting rather than trying to establish some sort of corner guard. Yeah, they've gone to, I mean, that, that essentially forced them with... Uh, the oh. Team Pustavar's oh. execution of the hit and roll onto the rings. Um, oh. That we're kind of all defense now. Yep. So okay. Clear everything out of the way, and this is looking more and more like a blank end. This looks exactly like a blank end. <laughs> 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 this looks uh, exactly like a blank end now. But, uh, you know, that is not all bad for Team Corbett. Uh, it may feel like we're running out of ends, but having that hammer in the eighth end is so critical. Scoring an eight. Even to tie the game puts you in a in a control position. I'm looking around the scoreboards. Dropkin scores one in the seventh. Just down by one now. Line. To Craig Brown. Four. Dropkin in one of those spots where if he can win, he oh. guarantees at least right. a tiebreaker. We're okay, guys. Take a look. Pull four. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Get four foot. Oh, uh, That's a nice opportunity for Paul to have that free draw, that yeah. open draw, to practice that draw. Because um, the way it's setting up now, it looks like Paul have the hammer in the ninth end yep. um, if everything kind of plays out. And uh, that shot may be very critical for uh, Paul securing the win he's looking for. So Halepsik did get... Uh, Two in the sixth, scored one in the seventh. Now just trails by one. Steal for Halopsic in the in the seventh. If, Mc Art. if McCormick wins that game, Art. he's guaranteed a spot in that yep, yep, yep. for no playoff. As it stands now, the worst he can do is be in a tiebreaker of some sort. Right. Control, you're normal. really struggled early in this event, sort of come on late. Yeah, Heater had a game, I think it was yesterday, where he was statistically real yeah. strong. Hey! 
Hey! Hey! Hey! Right up, guys. Right up. Nice sweep there. Yeah, McCormick had a two-win day yesterday, beating uh, Dropkin and Corbett. Uh, previously, uh, had lost to Clark, so won four of their last five, and they're uh, up one against Lupsick. So this is a pretty important shot here. It's a simple shot, but executing this puts control of the game into Brandon Corbett's hands. Nicely done. Well thrown. And uh, blank end here in the seventh, and Derek and uh, Brandon Corbett uh, are going to be uh, retaining the hammer going into the eighth. Is your club considering replacing its curling stones? USA Curling, in partnership with the World Curling Federation, offers all member clubs the opportunity to purchase brand new or high-quality refurbished stones from Kays of Scotland at cost over a five-year payment period. For more information on this exciting program, contact USA Curling Director of Growth and Development, Kim Nguyen, uh, and uh, you can be part of that exciting program. And we uh, just got new stones ourselves in the Rochester Club. It's real nice. How are those working out for you? Uh, it, it depends on what night of the week I'm playing. <laughs> uh, we're, everybody's learning about them, which is kind of fun. Um, and they and they do react nicely when you. Yeah, they have the ability to uh, be hit out of the house, which is nice. Yeah, get a little more action <laughs> off the rocks as they're as you're hitting them. Yep. Yeah, we uh, we had celebrated our 50th anniversary not too long ago at the club, and I'm not sure how long we've had our rocks, but they <laughs> might have been almost that old. <laughs> so uh, it's nice having you know a little less wide striking bands. That's for sure. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to play uh, to play rocks that um, that have some bounce. Yeah, <laughs> have some bounce that are lively. So, a uh, quick scoring update over on sheet E. Dean Gemmel scores a second three pointer in the against Schuster, right back in it. Um, Schuster has hammer in the ninth, but uh, Gemmel Rink's got a shot. Oh. Yeah, so Brandon's called to go Ready. under this uh, center guard. I'm, 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 I um, not the biggest Ready. fan of this call. Um, How do you feel about if it goes through the house? Probably a little worse too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's obviously <laughs> disaster. Uh, you know, through the house on a draw at any point is um, disaster. Well, fortunately, that stuck around. It's it's back there. Yeah, that you know. That position is a tricky shot. That's a great second scoring point, I guess, back there. But um, I'm a little surprised to see that he wouldn't try one corner guard. Um. Yeah, and they, they have sort of struggled to set up uh, the deuce. They got one in the fourth oh, end. And uh, other than that, really no opportunity. This looks a little deep, too. Yeah, this should come out the other side of that center guard. All the way back eight foot. Now we'll get the draw again. Yeah, we have a pile of rocks out there at the end of this. I like seeing that, it's fun. Yeah, lots of angles. Four, five! Right here! Yep, hard line! Hard line! Wait only, wait only, room, room, room. Six, six! Well, oh, you're there, you're there. Swept to get by the guard. Good line call there. Brings it down. 
almost froze under the boost of our stone. Had to get up maybe a hair earlier to stay above the T. Yeah, I think they really wanted to be up above the T line there. Um. It's in a great spot, though. Um, it's on a real good angle to the Pustavar stone in the back Online. eight foot. It's well by the guard. If this is the right way, this is an outstanding shot. That's a really good shot. It's Even a little short, that's a good shot. It's not currently yeah. shot stone, but what is that shrunk down the scoring area? And Derek is going to have to, and Brandon, I'm sorry, I did it again. Brandon is going to have to deal with this. <laughs> that's all right. They can't hear you right now. I have Their friends and family can, but yeah. they can't hear you right now. So friends and family know it is not on purpose when Joe's write, using the wrong name. I'm write Brandon's name right on my whiteboard. There's oh, the family right there. There's their family. Lots of good dedicated fans here at uh, the 8 a.m. draw. Paul Little is just going to end up opening it up. Leaves a rock for a corner guard. This guard's going to have to be pretty good because if uh, Brandon can ever get to the just a little bit to the inside right of that shots or second shot stone, he might be able to get rid of both of those yellows. Wait, yeah, the they're line. set up uh, pretty good. Actually, one of the things in uh, Team Pustavar's favor is oh, the, the amount of separation between the rocks. Yeah. It might take a a little bit of energy out of each one as they go. When rocks are frozen together, it's There's all the, the energy goes energy into, just, yeah, just into both. So. so this is sort of what I talked about. This didn't quite get over all the way. Yeah, it's definitely available. Uh, nose Why hit. We wait we want here, though? Got to bump this pretty hard. Like Throw it board. Actually, hack. I think you need more weight than this. Yeah, maybe he's just playing to keep a couple of those rocks still back there um, as a setup shot. We're hack. still early in the Whoa. end. Yeah, could be Whoa. playing a Whoa. hit and roll too. Hit. Doesn't Whoa. have to Whoa. necessarily. Yeah. Whoa. Get rid of yeah, the back Hard. 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 Whoa. Oh. Oh. Nice shot, Paul. Well, that, that's, that's a nice shot. Really creative there. <laughs> yeah. Just a setup shot. Move stuff to the back of the rings. Nose is good, he says. I think high of nose is pretty disastrous. But uh, inside of nose is real nice. If they get a little flop under that guard. That's a nice shot. Removes two of the Corbett stones. Corbett's still sitting one, but it's back four foot. It's so a rock that, that Brandon's going to have to deal with. Stay 
Yeah, so this is the same shot as Paul threw, essentially. Paul Little, their second. Uh, oh. The challenge is Dirk's yeah. coming from a different angle yeah. Yeah. as the lefty. So a little bit of a different broom placement whoa. necessary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta be on the inside. Weight's close. Curl. 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 Go, Brandon, go! Not a great result there. Producer are now sitting two. I don't know if it helps us that much, but we threads out of there. Yeah, but it's a decent setup when you look at it like that. It's not yeah. it's not the worst setup in the world. Paul's gonna probably have to play the draw here. The out turn draw or maybe the guard. If you just nose shot or the uh, Corbett Rock. Uh you might be able to make the double, but that's also how you uh Set, the, set Corbett up to That's take a, a large end. So um, yeah, if you're off on either side and you jam one of those ones on the side forefoot, especially the one on the left. Yeah, if we can get a look at the overhead, uh, we'll be able to show you. Yeah, so uh, and uh, if he jams it right back, I mean the ideal shot would obviously be the run double to sit four, but uh, you're still leaving the out turn draw open. The freeze there with the catcher. There's a lot. There's a lot of. Uh, oh, it's a it's a birthday day for Matt Hamilton, the second for Team Schuster. It's a hammer. Happy birthday, Matt Hamilton. And for all of you curling fans, in order to keep you listening to this webcast, I will not sing. No. I will not. I promise I will not <laughs> sing to Matt Hamilton on air today. So we're going to come down, I think, uh, maybe uh, set two, maybe? If you can get uh, sort of in front of that f stone of your own. They oh they're throwing the guard. Chris oh, just okay. said. Twenty. So I think you really want to. There's a, there's a lot to guard here. Yeah. Uh, with uh, those rocks behind the T line and sitting third and fourth count. I suppose if uh, Corbett okay. uh, gunned one, <laughs> uh, just off nose of the Pusvar stone on the right, he might be able to come over and hit the other one. So. Looks like they're trying to take that away. This looks a little heavy. Whoa, whoa. It's coming down though. The corner freeze hurry on that Corbett stone. That's a pretty good hurry. shot. Yeah, the corner freeze is probably hurry. really good. Right. Yeah, it took away the double for sure. Come through the hole. There. Yeah. Kind of cross the face. Yep, the run double. That's what oh they're looking God. at. Control. Oh, if you catch the guard, that's not the end of the world, oh. right? So you got to miss it on this side for sure. But oh wait. Control. So they want to cross the face, I think. Just kind of jam it back into the push for our stone that's sitting on the left hand side of the forefoot. We're looking at it right now. What? Yeah, there you go. Better miss is hitting the guard. Can't you want to hit right guard. where the where the oh, reflection is on that rock. Yeah. Definitely makeable through that hole. They're close, they're close, they're close. Overswept Got a little. Got through the hole. Overswept just a hair. They end up shot, though. They're shot and uh, protected to some degree. Yeah. I think Pusper is going to have to draw. Yeah, Paul's going to have to play that out turn draw, I think. He might, he might have the in turn. If we guard, they're just doing that. I mean, if it's real 
white, we probably can guard it. Yeah, it'll be about out here, I think. Yeah. Just top four. Yeah. Probably bury half. It's going to be lined up on the red one, so. Yeah. Four foot. Ooh, this is a big shot. Get it around ours and then get a berry. Still same delta. Was that Chris Bond we just heard? I did not hear that. It's gonna be a big shot. That was uh he's talking to himself a little bit there in the house. Getting himself mentally ready. Top four. Where are we guys? Clean it. Close on the line. Clean it. Whoa, line's good. Whoa, up. Oh. Hurry, goodbye. No, 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 no. We're by, oh, we're oh, by, oh. we're by. Right off, right off, right oh. off, right off, right off. Looking kind of heavy. Not ideal, but not the worst. Yeah. So, uh. Carpet with a chance to draw around and sit too. Doesn't matter if I'm here, right? Yeah, that's good. Just hit, light is a little better, I think, Brandon. What's that? Light is a little better. Oh yeah, for sure it is. So they're just talking about the pro side, where you want to be as a thrower. They still have some shots available to them if they're light. Can you run this, right? or tap, I guess, a better way of putting it. Their yeah. guard on the left, and maybe even something through the hole. I think that'd be a pretty tough shot too. This is a big shot here. Uh, a good shot here. Three, May have some shot at Line three if you make this one good. That's good. Whoa! All off. Close. Close. Where is it? Yes. Hard. Hard. Yes. Hard! Hard one! Hard! Hard one! Come on! Hard! 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 I mean, go hard! Hard! Keep it going! Keep it going! Well, just rubbed. Oh, just rubbed. Damn it. Good job, Brad. Spawn into a pretty decent spot. Yeah, I mean, it's it's accessible. Um, it takes Paul's draw away there. I um, wonder if Paul's got that intern draw on the other side. Uh, might be... Gonna have to go pretty Might wide. Might be tough, but only has to touch yeah, four foot. Okay, so Paul's gonna try and just. Uh, So Paul's talking about it being a little bit straighter, but um, the great news about this ice is the late finish. If you've got the right weight, it's going to curl at the end. Um, so I think Paul can actually... Uh, Again, I really like that dynamic between uh, Bond and Pustavar. Uh, you know, Paul asked <laughs> Chris, what happens if we hit the guard? And you know, just, uh, I like the fact that how uh, Paul asks for advice. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really kind of clean and honest share of information. Yeah, exactly. It is. There's right. not a lot of ego. Not yeah. a lot of. Close. Hurry. Yeah. Get line. Hard line. Hard line. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see where Whoa. BA put the stone there. Whoa. Trying Whoa. to get a good chunk of the uh, forefoot. So, uh, didn't quite work out. Corbett is sitting one, has a chance to get two. Can tap the one they just threw. Yeah, they can move it two, two and a half feet. Well, that's a, that would be a lot of ice for a tap, don't you think? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah I think it's a lot of ice. That's right there. Yeah, yeah I like that. <laughs> yeah, especially with a lot of angle catchers. Um, yeah. 
can be kind of wide on this. You can't miss it, though, Joe. No, you can't miss it. That's true. It's <laughs> true. Derek's trying to tell him. Brandon's pretty confident, though, with this ice, so. So Blanco end over there on sheet E, and Gemmel still down 8-7 to seven to uh, Schuster. Schuster's got the Rack. hammer. Um, Martin Come Sather on. throwing Let's a center guard here. Gotta get it touching. Nice shot. Great shot. Two for Corbett in the eighth, and now he takes a five to four lead going into the ninth. Volunteerism is the lifeblood of every successful curling club. USA Curling recognizes the importance of club-based volunteer efforts to the growth of the sport through the Volunteer of the Year Award. Nomination forms for the fourth annual Volunteer of the Year Award will be available online soon. A quick uh, peek around the scoreboard. Uh, Craig Brown scores two in the eighth, leads. Corey Dropkin, 6-3. Uh, McCormick takes one in the eighth, reestablishes a two-point lead over Halupsic. We okay with them blinking? Yeah. Go back to that uh, comment in just a second. <laughs> Myers has, uh, and Clark, there's two blanks in the sixth and the seventh. Uh, Myers retains a five to two lead in the eighth over uh, Brady Clark. And like I said, we mentioned there was a blank in the ninth and John Schuster has a one point lead over Dean Gemmel and they're coming home in the 10th. Two, three, four. So Ann, uh, Derek and Brandon got together there. And Derek five, shot all the way down the ice. Yep. Asked Brandon, are we six. okay if they blank here? And uh, yep, the answer six. was yes. Yeah, the answer was yes. That's. Uh, pretty surprising to me um some teams have different philosophies right you want to be you're comfortable being uh okay well maybe they knew what paul was going to do i'm i'm paul's going to go first two right now um so at least set it up yep. uh so i i probably would have uh liked to see a center guard there a two guard and then come in for Brandon. Good line, good line. Just get it over. Team Corbett. But I think the main thing is to to know what your team likes, how your team likes to play these situations. How hard do you go for the force? What's acceptable? Um, I'm going to see a tap here by uh, Corbett try to improve that stone in the top 12. We're tapping. That's a totally Rochester thing to do there, Ann. <laughs> That's why I do. <laughs> we don't like those stones right, okay. that are just 12 foot. We want to make them go. better. Yep, got to be sick. Yep, make sure we're here. Yep, make sure we're here. We're going by? Make sure we're here. Yeah, and again, it's, it's all about your end all plan, there, what, your, yep, what yep. your goal is, what you're comfortable yep. with, the style hard. of play you like. Hard, 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 hard. hard. Now, I don't blame uh, Brandon at all for wanting to be one up coming home uh, statistics kind of bear out that that's a good spot to be but it some is. teams really like having that that hammer in the last end down one well, well i'm thinking you know you go for the forest and then you're tied with yeah and uh yep well, a couple stones in there that uh paul's got to deal with and they again they're staggering in such a way oh. where if you make the roll you're not Hurry. probably making the double so Hurry. it was a good miss Hurry. Now, if it wasn't going to be lined up perfect, didn't quite make the double right, and uh, didn't quite get around the guard. Peeks out the other side. Oh. You want to throw a control? Okay. Or no, control. Okay. What do you think about this, Sam? I think this is he's he's got to play this shot. Yeah. Um, he could play the run. Um, Try to get both now. Yeah. But I mean, I think that their discussion, you're comfortable with the blank, was pretty telling. Yeah. So Close. they're going to hit Whoa. what's in the house. They're going to hit whenever yeah. they can. Yeah. So that's their comfort zone. That's what they're going to try and do. Nope. Um, Close. Whoa. Hard roll. You know, John Schuster and Heath McCormick, 
They're not going to do that. No, they're going to hit that guard and try to clip clip out the back one on the way by. <laughs> they're going to freeze to something, yeah. or they're going to they're going to have some guards up too. So yeah. um, more than one. Yeah. So they count off and it's freezing in here. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is pretty cold on the uh coach's bench. I will uh I'm gonna safely attest to that. Got warmer in the booth. It is a lot warmer here this morning, you guys. I don't know what you did. If you ordered up some heat for me, I really appreciate it. I don't know if you lost you noticed we lost the beanbag for the fifth end interview. It's up in the corner uh duct <laughs> to the ceiling, I think. <laughs> we have found the uh, the draft, and we have cut it off. That's all uh, B.A. He figured that one out. That is outstanding work by the producer. <laughs> that's, what he's, that's what he's here for. Outstanding work. That's the picture coming up of the beanbag. <laughs> it's, it's probably about 15 feet in the air. <laughs> and Sam here with a nice little run. John Benton has nothing to do with the beanbag. So uh Yeah, John didn't get the didn't get to see you sitting on the beanbag no, for his interview. <laughs> so uh, Sam Gailey will play something soft here into the pocket, I bet. Yeah, great Back chance out. here for Paul. Um, Paul Pustavar and team to. Well, this oh, thing got no. going early and yeah. we're all over that guard. Jeez. Yeah, that's uh, less than ideal. Yeah. Less than ideal in this situation. Um, so Brandon indicated a hit and roll to the center line. I, I'm not, yeah, this is, uh, I think, just get rid of it. Let's, I don't know if there's any reason to sit on the center line. Yeah, all of a sudden we've lost some audio on Brandon, so. Can't hear anybody from uh, Corbett. Maybe because uh, the button isn't pushed. Oh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Chief button pusher on duty. Nailed it. Let's just stay in front of the T-line. Um. Yeah, this uh, uh, Brandon was uh, going through some of his options for this uh, this end. Close. No life. They decided not to hit it all here. Really yep. Close. Whoa. Whoa. Close. Cut Suppose down. if you want to force uh, counting three is not bad. Yeah. Just got to be in a great yep. spot, yep. so hard. don't hard. leave uh, something hard. for Paul yep. to yep. freeze yep. to. Yep. 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 Oh, that's, good. Good. that's a nice shot. Yep. That rock's in a nice spot. You might actually hit that thing. I mean, as long as we score Normal. a point. Yeah, so. Normal. Normal. Yeah. I think Corbett's getting what he wants here. Pusifar's hitting instead Not of drawing. Yeah. Where are we hitting it? Okay. Quarter. Just a hair less, maybe. Should be really straight. Like no curl. Whoa. Our first final of the morning. Uh, Come on. We are pretty sure, waiting for the score to go up, uh, that right. Team Schuster has won right. that game. But I'm going to. Yeah, they look pretty happy over there. Yeah. Wait, what? Of course, That's Trevor smiles all the time, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Hoth does smile all the time. So I, like uh, I think there needs to be a hashtag free Trevor. They're 1 0 with him <laughs> on the ice. Yeah. <laughs> Probably lobbying to get in, in more games now. No, that looks like lots. 
I think Trevor is really appreciative of oh, his absolutely. experience here. Line, um, yep. Hard, hard boys, hard. Line's good, hard. Line's good, go. Hard. Line's great. Go. Hard. Hard. Hard, hard. hard. go hard. And there's hard the final. Boys, on, Schuster go. nine, Gemmel hard seven. Hard go. Hard, you got it. Go hard. 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 Clips it. All right. So it's two. It's a pretty steep angle for a double two, so. Looks like he's going to try to hit and roll under that center. Okay. Yeah, Paul doesn't need a double. Yep. You know, um, recognizing that. A little less. And, uh, I don't think I can get any curl on this turn unless I throw, like, board weight. I'm going to play it really tight. <laughs> no way to inside roll. Ah, we've got the first dissension in the ranks <laughs> right. here um, <laughs> from... Uh, if you're not going to tighten up the broom, I'm going to aim at your foot. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Close. Whoa. For all you thirds out there, I really recommend you get out of the hack and go on down and have a quick conversation with your skip to make sure everybody's on the same page. Yeah, it looks like uh, Chris was right. Uh, but he may have overthrown it, too, yeah. so you don't know for sure. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think Paul asked for board weight. That was... That looked like more than that. That uh, was a lot more than that. Yeah. So um, that's why I think if you ever get that feeling that... You don't agree? You're not comfortable? Better talk it over. You, you may as well take a couple of seconds to talk it over. I don't think that either one of these teams is tight on time. I mean, they don't. They, they got plenty. Control. It's a little roll um, So, uh, yeah, but this, uh, yeah, and w I say that they're not tight on time, but um, giving uh, these athletes a little bit of the benefit of the doubt, this is new timing system. So it's think time. And uh, it may look like you're tight on time when you only have four minutes whoa, whoa. and 20 seconds left. Whoa, yep, yep to complete an end and play a final end, oh. but you really aren't. You have, oh. you have tons of time oh. to execute your game plan oh. with that, Whoa. but it Come is uh, That's fine, Brandon. a different uh, feeling when you look at the clock. Yeah, <laughs> You're yeah. used to seeing about 10 yeah, to 11 like minutes. Yeah, you want to, uh, in that last end, if you have like eight minutes left, you're feeling like, all right, we're okay. We may have to move a little. You get down to this and you're looking at like three. You're like, whoa, what do we got to do here? And in yeah. reality, you have a, like close to 30 seconds almost to to think about each shot and deliver, before you know, before get in motion. It's yeah. really not, not something that yeah. you have to worry too so much about. Yeah, and the really good news is that you're not penalized for throwing a draw. Yeah. So your clock isn't ticking with this amazingly fast ice. Yeah. You know, yeah, those rocks can travel for a long time. If they take 27 seconds to stop. Yeah, so I, I, I really like the think time. But, um, again, as a benefit of the doubt to the players out there, this is the first time most of them have uh, seen it at this championship level. Uh, we got a couple of teams that played at the juniors, so they experienced it. But um, So that would be a new feeling to, yeah. to see that on your clock. Well so, whoops. It uh, Stay with it. Tie game here. Got, Got two in the ninth. Well, right off. And uh, Paul's draw looks a little down. hot. Pull back eight. It's gonna hit that slide path. Maybe take a little weight off. But Corbett ready to sweep. S Stay like shot. Stay shot. So gonna have to come down freeze to it. I think. Make a decision, one or the other. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and saying, be decisive over here. Well, I love you your know. body language up here. Is, does this translate over into the coaching bench? No, I try to sit real still. Well, most of the time, I'm frozen, <laughs> solid. <laughs> so uh, not able to move. Yeah. And I'm not talking that, yeah, you know, uh, right, yeah. as much on the coach's <laughs> bench. As much. I'll just put that, I'll just reference it's that. It's just under your breath. Oh, no. no I'm sure uh, 
Every now and then I get to talk to the other coach. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. gotta be fun. Yeah, that is actually fun. Gotta be no more than You sure it's just a seven? Oh boy. This is way out there. It's got a long way to go. Starting to America make its way over. They can get to the corner frozen. It's going to be real nice. Oh, great shot there. Oh, that's a great shot. I really like that shot. Forcing Paul to one is... Uh, and that's exactly what they're about to do here. Yeah, tied with is, I think, a really great situation. Um, maybe when we get a chance, we'll take a, take a quick peek at the statistics after this... Uh, after this uh, rock comes to a stop, just to see where uh, the players are at. <coughs> Myers takes one in the ninth, leads Brady Clark 6 3. Keep it clean, no backing. Clark needs this game, so I'm gonna have somehow I'm gonna have to generate three and then a steal. Oh, can't be late here. And uh, Corbett steals one here, so instead of being tied coming home with the hammer, they're up two without. And so Corbett leads six to four. Yeah, for all you young curlers out there. Uh, Going for the force sometimes means you get the steal. That's right. Yeah, when you're one up, I really like going for the force. Now you're two up. That is a commanding position. And uh, you get to throw the first rock. You control the end, how it plays out. So you can see Chris Bond loosening up out there. Long week. It's the last round robin game. This is the ninth game for each of these teams. So, uh, so up two. Yep. Uh, Brandon's game plan is to throw one through, <coughs> maybe two through. Let's see where uh, Paul puts this. Game must be over on A. I don't see any rocks in the house. All the players are kind of just meandering down the end of the sheet. <laughs> it's just <laughs> very comfortable pace. <laughs> Brown, uh, Brown must have uh, closed out drops in there. Yeah. So uh, a couple of the things that uh, needed to happen for tiebreakers are starting to happen. Uh, four tiebreakers, not for four, the number of four tiebreakers, F-O-R tiebreakers. <laughs> so we may have a tiebreaker depending on uh, the outcome of this feature sheet. If uh, Corbett were to win, I think that we'd have it all figured out, no tiebreakers. Yeah. So. Corbett would be the fourth team in regardless of what happens on the rest of the sheets. Dropkin has dropped to four and five. Gemmel down to four and five. Corbett is the only uh, team left that can jump up to five and four. The best Clark can do is th uh, four and five. He's down three. The best Lupsic can do is four and five. They're tied. Good way, Dwayne. But McCormick has a uh, very open looking house right now in that game. So uh, Corbett controls his own destiny now. He can uh, punch yeah. his ticket right to the playoffs with a win. Good. Yeah, Shuffle. nice shot by Paul Little. We're looking at the 10th end of uh, sheet B. 
McCormick and Hlupsik. Uh We're in third stones. Third, second. Line's good. Yeah, we're How's top 12. Not deep. Boy. Go behind. We are uh, right next. Uh, go ahead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. All the way. All the way. All the way. Yeah, so it looks like that rock fooled uh, Mark Lepsik and squad a little bit. Ran straight. Maybe just a little bit too much weight. So uh, McCormick can take a f rip at that one that's in the house that's shot stone. Nothing out front here to hide behind. Lopsik's really sort of stuck Clean. with freezes at this point. Whoa! Whoa! You're fine. Clean, 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 clean. Good throw, Chris. Nicely done. So, uh, yeah. it's up to Josh Barr now. Corbett's continue to appeal on the original feature sheet. Yeah, and they're doing a nice job of simple okay, execution. Line's good yeah, line's good. Up, 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 line's good. No, 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 if it's sit. here. Let it sit. Ho, 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 ho. Oh. Oh. Okay. Pretty good stone right. there by Barr. That's a real nice shot. Um, Would have loved to come to the face a little more, but... Frozen, shot rock. Cormac's going to have to deal with it. Here comes the timeout. Yeah, so Just Heath McCormick here. has called it, used his timeout. They are. Thinking this, just so we don't ever do this. What do you think? Or you just hit it anywhere high? Just smash it. Up. Yeah. Hit it anywhere high. Okay. That's I'm, I'm fine with it. I just wanted yep. to double check. Hey boys. So we'll have a team talks it over. On, uh, on Josh's next one, get along. So a nice reminder from Chris Plies to his front end, just to double check. Make sure you're getting a nice speed. Heater maybe uh, throwing the draw for the win. Yeah. yeah, that's good to think ahead. Hey, he's here. Yeah. So on our feature sheet, uh, Pusavar has uh, started to put the rocks in the rings, use the corner guard he's got. Real patient here. Yep, Brandon will peel. Yep. Clean. So. Clean. Yep. 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 Nice shot by Heater really nice. McCormick. It's perfect. So uh, John Schuster is going to be the one seed going into the playoffs, eight and one record. Craig Brown going to be the two seed. They'll uh, face off tomorrow in the Page game. McCormick is uh, solidly in the three-four game right now. Could be three. I don't know if we'll take a look at the shootout scores. It looks like if Corbett were to 
be five and four and McCormick were five and four. Corbett has the better shootout score. I'm assuming that would make him a three seed. But uh, right McCormick can finish out this game Lines and stay a eyes. game ahead of Corbett. Lines good. Now, so we're listening to Mark Halepsik. Josh Barr on the mics now. Whoa, it's not hooking here. Whoa. Girl. Oh, what the hell? Finish it. Hard. Best they could do on a rock that didn't curl. Time, Made it shot rock. Take your time. Make sure those boys get a good scrub on that path, boys. So Paul Pustavar is uh, putting his first shot in the rings. By throwing two rocks through, the Corbett rink actually conceded the deuce with 100% makes. So um, now Brandon's got a chance to get out of it, but he's got to make this double. Um, I would have probably liked to see the first rock in the top of the forefoot for the Corbett rink and then throw one through. Yep, it's a makeable double for Brandon. So McCormick's hammer on the way over here on sheet B. And uh, Brady Clark closed out Clean. over on sheet D. Yep. Clean. Clean all the way down. Yep. a boy. And McCormick makes the hit. It's going to be the three seed. And uh, defeats Lupsik 8-7. And... So we just have uh, one game left here. If uh, Corbett can make this double, the game's over. Leave Pustavar with a hit and stick for two to tie this game. Go to extras. So if uh, Corbett wins, he's in. If he loses, there's a three way tie at uh, four and five. With yeah. Dropkin and Gemmel. So could be a set of tiebreakers. Could be a set of tiebreakers. So Paul's got a wide open hit and stick to tie this up and take it to free curling, bonus curling, the extra end. Extra ends are the uh, theme of the week here in Kalamazoo. Almost every single draw has had an extra end. Paul's got a stick here. This thing isn't moving. It's running a little bit on him. Derek is there. Oh, and it just sticks. Oh, it just stays. Drama. <laughs> drama, drama, drama. Everybody holds their breath. And uh, we're playing an extra. Yeah. Corbett's going to have the hammer uh, in the extra end. Tied up at six. In uh, 2014, 80 curlers from 28 clubs met to share ideas and information, celebrate success successes, and plan for the exciting future of our rapidly growing sport at USA Curling's inaugural members' assembly. In 2015, we hope to attract more than 100 curlers from clubs across the country to their second annual members' assembly, which is going to be held at Fort Wayne, Indiana. Mark your calendars for the third week of October. So uh, in the extra end, each team gets a timeout, correct? Uh, yes, sorry, my mic no, was off. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Should stop uh, asking you questions. No, when, it's good. When it's your good. mic is off. Yeah, no, no problem. Um, yes, each team gets uh, one timeout in the extra end, and I'm pretty sure the clock's set to four and a half minutes um, for this extra end. That is a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Yeah. 
So time will not be a factor. Everything's reset. So the most important rocks of Dwayne Rutan's week That's are right. right here, right now. Looking to set up double center guards and Cannot the steel. Cannot be deep, and these sweepers are not touching this at all. <coughs> it's got to die. This is in the rings. Uh, Brandon is just salivating at the opportunity to hit it. Oh, that's disaster. Yeah. I mean, it just really is. With the uh, four rock rule, you don't get many opportunities to throw stones that nobody can uh, remove. And uh, you yeah, don't want to put one in the rings and make it easier. Yeah, it's important to take advantage of those opportunity. You know, every one of those guards that you get when you need to steal. Mm. Oh. Nicely removed. Nice and simple. But with that, you only need one guard. That's true. You only need one rock to That's hide true. behind. So. Suspect uh, Rutan will not be heavy this time. One is uh, drifting over the center line. It's a little tight still. Yeah, oh, if that drifts in. Nope, just short. Uh, I'm not sure I like this call by Brandon here. Um, just play the, you could play the split, or the tick, the push yeah. on this, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the rock being so one. close to the rings. But you might as well close. take a yeah. shot at it. I mean, if you... Worst case scenario goes back where it was. Yeah, you've got a real Not simple. Not here. Back here is okay. Kind of promoting yep, uh, right here. complication right here. here. But Even through is good. Right through is good. Yeah, yeah. This is another way to go. Keep it that's simple. <laughs> that is. I think Just that's through. Uh, you know, that might be your uh, Jared Wittish's subconscious uh, <laughs> coming in. That's a perfect weight for the tick, by the way. Yeah, it would have been good. Uh, Except it needed to be about <laughs> four feet over. <laughs> yeah. So Sam Gailey up. Sam uh, clean, two, one. looking two, to play in second three, center one, guard. Tight. Right off. Tight. Mm. I wonder if the ice got a little bit quicker on these guys all of a sudden with everyone leaving the rink. Um, no, that's a pretty good shot. Lined up pretty well. Yeah, Try to take a rip at it on the high side, I suppose. But uh, straight peel. Wait for a better opportunity. As it stands, that whole intern side's available, so. Yeah. No, no, no. Yep. Oh, you're good. You're good. I think that's my idea of peeling. Oh, that's all right. It's a good throw. <laughs> Same. You know, this this game, uh, we work really hard to be calm and under control, and uh, so we work hard on the sarcasm in Rochester. So. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I like it. Um, it's fun. It's it's really fun to see. Uh, to see the Corbett brothers out there. Lots of personality, lots That's of energy. How great is it that uh -oh. our athletes wear microphones? Yeah, I mean, it's just fantastic. I've only had, I think, one player kind of refuse at a time and we understand when sometimes uh, you can't do it for whatever reason, but people seem generally excited when we get down there and give them the mics. They know that they're going to be uh, featured to some degree. Fa friends and family at home can hear them. Yep. Down. Heart! 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 Going for the double peel here. Heart. Oh, don't want to really stick this. Got to roll this shooter. Very nice. Go! Uh, what? <sighs> and Beautiful shot. Standing shot. He looks pumped. He was excited after that one. 
Well, he could feel it. Yeah. He could see. He could see the angles. It was set up for him, and then just made it beautifully. Yeah, this is. I'm sure they're well aware of the scoreboards around them. All they need to do is uh, get a point here, and they're punching their ticket to the three-four game of the playoffs. Gonna find you guys. Good center line. There's a whole lot of luck anyway. Alright. So, uh, center going up now. Corbett uh, team just has to maintain their peels here. Don't overthrow it. Yep. 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 Chris Bond having a terrific game. More rotation. Should be a little more weight. Stuck oh, having to play the simplest of uh, center guards. Uh-oh. Didn't finish it a little. Did I uh, jinx him? Oh, this is all right. Center line, just oh. short of the center line. Derek's going to get another rip of the peel here. Going to throw that airport yep. weight. Yep. He's a little tight. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. But you're with fine. that yep. weight, it oh, should be you're okay. Fine. Fine. Good. Nicely yep. done. Paul going to try to change the line a little bit. Yeah, just move it around a little bit. Call that a veteran move. Yeah, I might have liked to have seen that a little earlier. Yeah. So uh, just... Uh, Challenge Team Corbett with uh, ice and throwing. Push him a little bit more. Farrar's got to put this on the center line again. Looking to it drag it over the other side. Just over the center line on the other side. Change the angle a little bit. Brandon makes this peel. He's going to have something wide open with his last. So Brandon taking his time, making sure his rock is nice and well taken care of, cleaned in the hack. Running through his process and his setup. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Hard roll. Hard go. Hard roll. Go. Hard. Rolls it a little. And the plot thickens. Yeah. <laughs> and the plot thickens. Little uh, tight out of his hand. Uh, Derek had swept, he had called sweep before uh, Brandon even let it go. Yeah, there was a little bit of drift in Brandon's back leg. There was just a hair of a drift, and uh, I think when you feel your leg going out, you tend to put the rock back in a little bit. Yep. So It's good that uh, Derek recognized that early. At least they got a little roll uh, on their shooter. So, Paul going to try to duck this around there? Yeah, Paul's going to try uh, and, and tuck as much as he can, but still grab a little bit of the forefoot, I would think. 
put a little doubt in uh, Brandon's mind whether to draw or hit, huh? Yeah, you you know, I, I really believe you'd like a, an opposing skip to just be thinking about a couple of different shots whenever you can make that happen. So, But the good news for Brandon is a uh, draw to the forefoot is going to be available to him. And that is... So uh, Paul Pustafar throwing an out turn draw probably that he's thrown thousands of times. Hurry, 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 go all the way. Keep going. Sweepers bring it in the forefoot. And no hesitation here. They're going to yep. hit this. Can't afford to roll out, uh, otherwise we'll go 12. Which would be a fitting way to end the round robin for <laughs> the 12th end. That's true. <laughs> Let's Sports play two Network. more. That's what, that's our motto. Let's play two more. <laughs> so uh, Brandon Corbett here with a hit and uh, stick anywhere in the house. Can punch his ticket to the 3-4 game of the playoffs of this championship. Huge Ready? shot for this whoa, young whoa, man. Whoa, 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 How do we feel about a 12th end? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. It may not be a 12th end. It's got to hit it. It misses altogether. And we are going to have a set of tiebreakers as uh, Corbett drops to four and five. And uh, two other teams who maybe uh, have headed for the hotel, should turn around, come back. Because <laughs> it looks like we may have a uh, draw at noon. We'll put out a Facebook message. Uh, we'll have to see, uh, see what the, the tiebreaker schedule looks like. But uh, we have three teams at four and five now. Uh, Corbett, Dropkin, and Gemmel. Our one-two game is set, and that's going to be uh, Schuster and Brown. McCormick is uh, solidly in the three position. But uh, it looks to me like uh, the first tiebreaker game, this is certainly unofficial. It's going to be Dropkin and Gemmel as uh, the Corbett's have the best uh, draw shot challenge. They'll uh, await the winner of that game to see who goes on to the 3-4 game. So for Ann Swisshelm and Brian Anderson, this is Joe Calabrese. We'll be signing off until probably about noon. But we'll put out a Facebook message to let you know just for sure. Have a good uh, morning. We'll see you at noon.